first I am going to show you the steps from the Atlassian website for connecting the SQL Server to the Jira. These are the steps to be followed to connect Jira to the SQL Server. There are three main steps to complete the process. Let's begin from the first. Before we start the process, the three key points to be noted. Before we begin the setups, the Jira should be shut down. The second thing is to check for the SQL Server platform. Make sure your SQL Server version is supported by the Jira. And the last thing is, if you have already connected Jira to another server, make sure you are switching the database. Let's start with the first step. First step is creating and configuring the SQL Server database. Let's start creating the database now. While connecting Jira to a SQL Server, make sure you are in the mixed authentication mode. Don't use the Windows authentication mode. In the database, you need to create right click new database. Give a database name and make sure in the options the collation should should not point to default. It should point to it should point to SQL Latin General IP 47 CIAI. Make sure you have got the SQL Latin 1 General CP 47 CIAI. Yes, we are good to go. Click on OK. Now we have added a new database. You can see the database here. Connect to Jira. This is our database we have created just now to connect with the Jira. Now the next step is you need to create a schema. Right click on that new query. Just create an empty schema. schema A. The command completed successfully. The next thing is we need to set the isolation level. For that The command completed. So this is to set the isolation level. You have this query in uh, in the website page which I showed you. This was the query which we executed just now. And we want to make sure few settings. Go to tools, options, here query execution, SQL Server, advanced. Here you need to make sure the set no count is unchecked. Cool. It was already unchecked for me. Click on OK. Now we are done with the first step. Let me show you the first step quickly. We have created a database with a coalition which is supported by Jira. We have created a schema. Uh, for the SQL Server, the TCP IP a port, by default it will be in 1433. I will show you that in the later. We have seen this and this at this, point, this step I am skipping out because I have already because by default it was unchecked for me. 
and I, we have executed this command. Now let's go to step 2. Step 2, this is for using the setup wizard and this is for the configuration tool. Now I am using Jira configuration tool, so I need to follow these steps. For this step, we need to we need to take the path where we have kept our Jira. Let me take my command prompt. Always run as administrator to change us, give us. Here you need to provide the Jira where you have located Jira location. You need to provide I have my Jira in the C drive program files at Lash in Jira bin. Then enter after giving enter type config config.bat give enter this will take you to a page where we can configure Jira here in the second tab go to Jira database here is the one you need to view localhost the port and Jira database what we have cre created just now connect to Jira database we have created just now and these are my username and the password and you need to give a test connection test connection successful this you need to get this click on ok and do and click on save while saving you need to get this settings save successfully there we go now we are done with the point four the next step is to restart the jira for that i'm going to services services desktop app and here I can find a flash in Jira right click and stop that is done now I'm going to start it. now that flash in Jira is running you need to make sure one thing go to SQL SQL Server Configuration Manager give on S you need to before make sure uh, see whether it is running you need to stop this SQL so you need to stop this and you need to make sure few settings and then again you need to start that now we have stopped the service and go to network configuration protocol for SQL Express and TCP IP this you need to keep it as S is enabled S and listen all you need to give S make sure you are giving all this and in the IP address section okay, make sure all the TCP dynamic port should point to 0 and the TCP port is 1433 anyway we have given all TCP IP all we have given S, listen all, we have given S, so this should work for all of us. Make sure all the settings are fine. Then click OK and then go on and start run the SQL Server again. Here is our database. This is the uh, connect to Jira. This is the database we have created and have just made with the connection. We need to go to tables tab. If you see, you can see all the tables stacked to it. Here we go. Now we can start our visualization. Thank you for watching.